Hi, I'm Matt, and this is a forums question in from Dell. Uh, and Dell says, Matt, I have run a full clone of my site, which is fine. I have added the magme folder to the clone directory, and this loads. Happy days. Uh, I need to change the username and password for my clone access to magme and my admin dashboard. How do I do this? Is there a tutorial for this? Dell. So Dell, uh, we don't have a tutorial for this and this is why I'm gonna make it. Um, give you a little heads up, you will need FileZilla FTP open and I will take you through both the nerdy way and the slightly easier way so that you can get your Magme working on your newly cloned Magento website. So assuming that you do have FileZilla up and running, let me go and pop this up on the screen for you. And what you need to do is to grab the latest or your updated database username and password and prefix if you've got one from Magento and then add that in to Magme, okay? Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can do this the super nerdy way or you can do this the slightly easier way uh, and I'm gonna show you both, okay? So get FileZilla up and running and get into your cloned Magento website and that's where I am right now and you always know that you're in the right place because you've got folders like app, uh, downloader errors includes JS, lib, uh, media, etc., etc. Now the first thing which we need to do is go and find your new Magento database details and this is really straightforward so follow me along. If you go into the app folder, then into the ETC or etc folder. Now, the logic would dictate that you would open up the config.xml file, but that's not the one which you want. You're actually after the local.xml file. So I'm gonna right click on that file and then choose view forward slash edit. And I'm gonna open that file up. And I'm gonna open that file up and we'll now see that we've been and got our database details. So uh, you may have to scroll down on this file and you're looking for a couple of specific values. The first one is the table prefix. So we can see that's madg underscore. We can also see that the username is in here. So that's the database username. Just so happens is the same name as our database name and also our password here as well. And these are the details which you would want to add in to your new Magme install for your cloned Magento website. So you've got two options here and we'll, we'll go with a slightly easier version first. So I'm just gonna put my screen side by side, okay? And I've already been logged in to the new version of Magme, okay? So the version on the uh, cloned Magento website and then click on the configuration tab and then host, well, we've got host in here, that's local host. Uh, DB name and then so what you could then do is copy your DB name so I'm just going to double click on that and press Control C paste that in there username uh, which is the same so I'm going to paste that in there as well then we need the password as well so I'm just and again you need to go I see I just almost made a mistake then you need to get it between the square brackets okay so start at the first bit go up to the last digit and then press Control C on your keyboard, and then password, paste that in, and table prefix, that's the one which catches most people out, that's in a different section, that's up here, and that's madge underscore, and that's what we've got in there, and then click on save global parameters. Happy days, that now means that when you use this Magme importer, it will now use the updated details. Now with that said, there's a quicker way which you can do that, which is that once you've got this file open, what you can also do is that if you go back up to where you can see app, downloader errors, includes, etc., go into your Magme importer folder, go into CONF, so conf, okay, and there's a file in here called magme.ine. Right click on that one and do view forward slash edit and then that will open up in a new window. And again, you can paste the values in here if you find it easier. Now also Dell, I've actually set up FileZilla to open up using Notepad++. But if that's opening up in maybe just normal Windows Notepad and everything's coming out on one line for you, a little tip for you is that if you go to edit and then settings within FileZilla, 
you get a pop-up window and you want to scroll to the bottom okay and the first thing it says uh, down here underneath file editing click on file type associations and untick inherit system file type associations then go to file editing and then choose use, use custom editor and then click browse and what you're after is your notepad plus plus folder now it could be in a couple of different locations typically if you're using a later version of windows this will be in program files x86 okay go into notepad plus plus look for the application called notepad plus plus then click on open and then click on save and that means now that when you open up any of the files using filezilla is that they will then open up in notepad plus plus for you so Dell, that was an absolute brilliant question. I've covered both methods of what you can use. You can either go the nerdy way, which is to, well, number one, you need to open up that XML file, the local.xml, and then get the database details. You can either then update it in the web interface, or to be honest, if it was myself, I would then go into the Magmi Importer folder, into the folder called CONF, and then look for the file called magme.ini, okay, open that one up, and I'd paste the details in there. So Dell, I hope, that means ha I hope that's been enabled to help you. We'll see you soon. Cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.